Hey guys, welcome back to the Passing Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about allowing or not allowing pets as a landlord. We were just rambling on about this. We figured we'd go ahead and record it. So Kirby, Kirby is anti-animal. No pets, not even a lizard. So, <laughs> so my 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 thing with pets was like I said, Kirby. I had saw it on Bigger Pockets. There was a a landlord and investor that was talking about how the majority, or I don't know if it's the majority, but a lot of applicants or a lot of tenants have pets. A lot of families have pets, and so you can, if you do allow pets, you can. You have a higher chance maybe of getting a tenant and then you can charge additional income on top of that for them having pets. So it seemed like a decent idea. I I grew up with pets. I grew up with five dogs. So I also know how it can be having pets, but you made a good point. It's the owner. I know people that have one dog and their house was dirtier than my house was growing up with five dogs so i think you know it is the owner for sure but go ahead you were you were you're making some points on this yeah and and contrary to what alex is saying i love pets <laughs> yeah i love dogs <laughs> I, I, no 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 <laughs> i love pets it's it's not for me all my real properties it's no pets and it has nothing to do with the dog or cat. It has 100% to do with the owners. Because I see it all the time, just going to different people's place and or just going to check on other rental properties for other investors and they allow pets. And the dog or cat or whatever, they're going to do what they're going to do. If they have to use the bathroom, they have to use the bathroom. I have no problem with that. The problem I have is the owners or the caretakers of these animals, they don't clean up or clean up efficiently or in a timely manner. Or I go into uh, the unit and I see owners, they don't even let their dog or cat outside. Well, cat don't go outside, but dogs outside to use the restroom or take them on walks to use the restroom. They have these little pads around the, around the unit so the the dog can just use the bathroom on the pads. And then eventually one day they pick up the pads. And not every time the dog makes, you know, do their business on these pads that's around the house. So, and I, I mean, I literally see it because I remember doing the project uh, at somebody else's unit and I was just going through it. And this was like a week span. The same pads was on the ground the whole time. But you can clearly see the pad is yellow because they look like an opened up diaper, but flat. You can see the pads are clearly yellow. You can see poop on another pad. And it's just sitting there. And the smell is just permeating out. And the owner is just doing nothing about it. So I, I have nothing against the, the dog or cat itself. I have a big, big problem with owners because I don't believe owners take care of the property for the for the thing that their pets do. And yeah, could you make more money, you know, charging a pet deposit, you know, maybe $200, $300 for a pet deposit? Um, can you, you know, charge a little bit more money every month in rent for the pet? Yes, you can. But I have, you know, somebody that I talked to and helped out do a rental. They had stained concrete flooring, brand new, brand new duplex, so, and then the tenant that they had in there in one side of the unit that allowed pets, they just let their dog just use the bathroom in the house and they would leave it in there for weeks. So by the time the tenant left, the stained concrete was stained with piss, with pee, with poo. So it all, so they had to take up all of that epoxy, everything that was on the stained concrete, deep clean, deep clean, deep clean. So the deposit and that extra $50 a month or $50, $75 a month of rent, all that's gone. And it's probably more than what it costs that you're getting in that rent for what you're going through with uh, 
damage to the property. So again, world, I love pets. I don't like the owners. That is what you got. Uh, that's fair enough. I um, I could see, yeah, I could definitely see how that would be a pain. Um, and I and I've seen pets damage doors and stuff, and walls. I'm not too worried about the walls in this unit because they're concrete. Mm -hmm. And the unit I'm talking about is the duplex I just recently purchased. I don't know if he mentioned that, but right, right. We um. And I know I've got a good team that can repair it. I'm just thinking for, I don't know, maybe I need to go through a terrible pet experience before I'm like, okay, that's it. I, I don't know. Um, I, I, uh, maybe I'm giving too much, too much hope on, or not hope, but leeway, I guess you could say. But I think you could also maybe vet the tenants to see what kind of people they are as well. I don't know. Do you think you could you could tell how they are just you know when you're vetting a tenant to see if they're a you know, the thing is is you can if you can limit the size of a dog or size of a pet, right. let's say 50, 50 pounds or less. But vetting but but then if you say you allow pets, it's just you allow pets. Right. Yeah, you, you can't sit there. Huh? No, because it's a it's the same thing. You know they're gonna they're gonna use so, yeah so but what I mean is are you really gonna know how they take care of their pet until they're in there and I, and I didn't have a horrible pet experience in a unit before I did it I just didn't do it from the get go I just didn't do it from the get go and that's just because life experience seeing other people have it I have a dog myself but my dog is highly trained. Uh, she knocks on the door when it's time to go use the bathroom and then she goes out by herself and then knocks on the door again when she want to come back in. So that, so I don't have, you know, mistakes. I mean, I might have a, uh, occasional, she might, you know, barf up some, you know, food every now and then, but just like you, you know, playing vinyl flooring, but it's immediately got to, it's immediately clean. It's not, Oh, I'll get to it later. Um, so, I mean, you're, that unit that you have, you know, you got the plank bottom flooring, you got the concrete walls, you got a good team. It's just, do you want to be paying your team for something that you can avoid? I'm not saying you go one way or the other. I'm just saying what I do. I mean, what bigger pocket said? Could you get a bigger deposit? Yes. Could you get more money on a monthly basis? Yes. But the outlier is still, what kind of owner is in there that owns a pet that goes in there? And then I just... Try to avoid that situation altogether. I mean, goldfish, go ahead. I'm cool with goldfish. You got goldfish in there, but you know, yeah. four legged creatures for me. No, no. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe. If you got a comment or your opinion, let us know down below. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.